Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Corin Brad, and I've got a great project for you today, which is a very easy lined pouch. You can make it any size you like, from pretty much any fabric you like, and in any orientation that you like. Now I feel like a bit of a fraud because I've done a lined pouch or a clutch bag project like this before. And I've only just discovered there's actually a much easier way of doing it because when I've done it before, I've sewn the outer and the lining as two separate entities. But there is a way of doing it much more quickly. Get yourself two pieces of fabric, an outer and a lining. And I'll put a template in the description below, but essentially it's a rectangle and the top of it has been tapered. You simply sew along your bottom straight edge and leave a gap so sew about a third of the way across leave a gap in the middle and then continue And then before you go any further, just finger press up the edges of that gap because this will be, oh, I'll show you what this will be. This will be this edge of your pouch. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue along that finger pressed line to hold them down and do the same on the other side. This gives you a nice flat edge for when you come to turn it inside out and top stitch it. And it should stop your gap stretching as you turn it inside out. So once you've done that, open up your fabric and finger press that bottom seam like so so you've got something to grab onto take your fabric like this so your bottom seam is sitting upright and where you've got the bottom, bring it up to your fabric. I'm just going to line this up on my cutting mat to make sure my edge is yeah, that's straight. And then bring this bit in line with that. And I'm going to pop a pin in the middle, like so. So essentially what you've got is that seam that you've originally sewn You've taken your fabric right sides out and then you've concertina folded, concertina folded? Concertina folded the fabric so that it's all again right sides together. The flap is right sides together, the lining is right sides together, the outer is right sides together. Pop a couple of pins in the corner and then you can just stitch all the way round so, probably should have put a couple more pins in that, but uh, I've committed now, so we'll carry on. Thank you. 
It's better to increase your seam allowance by about a millimetre or so than to wait until you've turned the whole thing inside out to find that you haven't caught one layer. But no, that's all good. Take your pins out, clip your corners, including the angled ones. And then if you pop your hand inside here, where you've left the gap, and grab the point of your pouch, you can push out the flap. And then you can push out the bag. And there it is, completely lined. So I'm just going to give that a quick press. And then I'll show you the easiest way I've found of top stitching something like this. Now you'll notice I've left this, in effect, inside out, because I want the blue to be the outer and the red to be the inner. But I'm just going to manipulate those seams and give them a good press. And then I'm going to top stitch all the way around. Now what you could do is you could take the accessory drawer of your sewing machine and top stitch it so you're actually looking at the top of the fabric while you're top stitching. I found actually that if you keep it inside out You can top stitch still, but there's much less risk of getting other layers of fabric caught in your stitching. So I'm sewing along the front edge of the pouch to start with, and that top stitch is actually sewing up that hemmed turning gap. We'll sew up as far as the side seam, do a couple of stitches past the side seam, leave your needle in, lift the foot and pivot the fabric to then continue along the flap. get to the end I'm just going to trim away my excess threads Ooh. just going to do that thing that my domestic science teacher told me never to do which is turn the flywheel the wrong way because I just went one stitch too far Luckily, it didn't connect with the bobbin. And there you go. Now, if you leave it like that, it is actually fully reversible. You can have it that way round, or you can have it that way round. Because the turning gap that you used is along this edge here and you've just top stitched it and then just fold it down give it a press and then these ones have been sealed with a simple um, press stud if you look on some of our other demonstrations I show how you use these snaps obviously if you put a snap in it it is still reversible it does mean you have to uh, put your flap on the inside to seal it up That'd be good as a, a wet bag or something like that. You could have this as a phone case. You could even have it as a little gift card wallet if you're sending somebody something um, as a Christmas present. 
But as I say, a very easy method of doing it. The lining and the outer side seams are sewn together rather than separately. And uh, it's a great project for using up random rectangles of fabric that you don't have anything else to do with. So I hope you like that. I hope you make some pouches. I hope you subscribe and um, check your notifications for when we've got new videos coming out. Um, we seem to have quite a lot now. Um, in the meantime though, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you very soon. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.